Hey guys, welcome back to Minute Watch, and BAM! This is the Made in Japan Seiko Presage SARY085 cocktail time. Uh, this one's nicknamed the Star Bar, and it is limited to 1,300 units. So very limited, super limited. And I got this from Kenta over at Japan Online Store, and I was very pleased with the service. The box was packed well, it arrived faster than I thought it would, and I was just generally happy with the whole experience. They also offered the lowest lowest price at the time that I was looking and I'll, I'll put a link to it down in the about section. Uh, specs really boring don't want to say it so I'll just pop it over here real quick for you to look at don't want to even talk about it getting tired getting getting sleepy getting sleepy just looking at that just look at it would you just look at that but you know you know what screw that would you just look at this look at this this is what you should look at focus.com Ford Focus. There you go. This is just absolutely dazzling and beautiful. My my face uh, reflection ruins it, but this oh yes, mmm, it's pretty, isn't it? Ah, oh, I absolutely love this watch. This is one of the few watches that I've just immediately fell in love with. Was when I opened up the box. When I opened up the fantastic box that it comes with, um uh, you know, it was like in my in my brain, it was like those angels that sing when you when you like in I don't know like in cartoons and movies, like oh, I was like yes, yes, <laughs> finally have myself a cocktail time. I had a drink, I haven't had one in five months. I took a sip, I put on the watch, all was well in the world, the village was saved. So let's talk about some other stuff. The glass is a slightly domed box shaped hard lex crystal. There's a there's a day complication and uh, that dial though. I'll talk about the dial in a bit. Seiko, uh, Seiko emblem seems to be machine stamped on. The presage and automatic words are probably stamped or painted on. It looks like it's stamped on. The indices are all about the same length and uh, they're all, all one piece unlike the Saab 065 which has multi-pieced indices on, on uh, some of them and uh, longer ones on the others so really interesting the crowns are also different the Sari 085 has a more crown shaped crown while the Sarb 065 is more of a box shape the crown on the new cocktail times as I've mentioned before in another video they have a kind of an annoying gap you see that would you just look at that kind of an annoying gap don't know why that that exists but then I look at the dial and I'm just like, who cares? These are really special watches. Really like them. And let's get to, no, before, no, no, let's talk about other things before we get to dial. 316L stainless steel case, completely polished all around. Gets, gets all kinds of shimmery and all kinds of light, just reflects everything. Nothing really special about the way the case is cut. It's just a pretty standard case, but it works very well with this. It's good. It's real good. And now let's talk about that absolutely lovely orgasmic dial. So the design was created by a man named Hisashi Kishi, who is the head bartender of the Star Bar in the Ginza district of Tokyo, Japan, Earth solar system. Uh, this elegant textured finish is applied no less than seven times to achieve its breathtaking presence. It is truly an amazing piece. The design represents the way, okay, the design represents the way the cocktails look in the Star Bar signature cocktail glasses. Let me just uh, do this, there you go. So as you can see, um, I don't know if you can see it now, but the that's, that's what it's designed after. It's designed to look like the drink that you're drinking uh, from above, the dial that is, see, there you go. So pretend this is the, the cup uh, or the, the glass, the star bar glass, and you're looking down into the drink. That's what the dial is supposed to represent. Very clever. And the way it's done it gives a sunburst effect, which I think is just absolutely lovely. It is, it is glorious. It's intrepid. I think this is a fantastic, remarkable piece. And I am completely blown away at this thing. Mm, what else can we talk about? Uh, yeah, the com the combination. Uh, so the combination of 
all these things. The uh, okay, I'm back. I had to. I just had to wait till the noise died died down. There's a bunch of noise going on in the background, and it's one of the reasons why I just can't wait to get out of here, move away from all this crap, and uh, yeah, get my own place to stay. Right now, I live with a bunch of people, <laughs> and I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Anyway. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, uh, this combination of the dial, the indices, seconds hand, the shiny case, the box crystal, it just makes for a super glorious happy peanut. Very classy, classy happy peanut. <laughs> uh, water resistance is 50 meters, so only splashy splashy, don't get it wet. Again, the case is 316L, stainless steel, everything's polished, nothing too fancy about the case, but that doesn't make a it doesn't mean that it's not good. It's really nicely done. The strap is a glossy midnight blue with a lighter blue contrast stitching. It is a deployant style. It's a reverse deployant, which means, uh, or backwards, I should say, which means the uh, the keeper will be showing on the inside of your wrist. And there's a reason for that. I'll tell you why later. But the strap is really nicely done. It actually looks really good. Uh, not too keen on just straight shiny straps like this so I will change it if you guys want to see a strap change video for this watch let me know in the comments below uh, give me some suggestions I might do like five different straps all classy style if you have some suggestions I'd love to hear them or if you want to me to even do that video so yeah back of the case uh, we got the Display back, you can see that 4R35 move, that goldy uh, rotor, which in my opinion is uh, unnecessary, <laughs> but whatever. Uh, right there, you can see the limited edition stamp on there. Right above it is the, the number. I don't know if you can see that. It says uh, 445 over uh, 445 of 1300. There's still the protective, the protective. There's still the prophylactic, the perfective, perf <laughs> the protective layer. Prophylactic would make sense. The protective layer of plastic on the back of the case. It's pretty standard case back for Seiko stuff. The dial is what really sets this watch apart from most everything else. Gosh, it's so awesome. Uh, yeah, let's just check out the measurements, shall we? Boop. So the case, I got 40.5 millimeters. Lug to lug, I got 47.5 millimeters. Lug width, I got 19.9, .9, so about 20 millimeters. And thickness, I got 12.1 millimeters. Whew. And let's put it on my wrist, and I'll show you what I mean by the, the reverse uh, deployment and why that exists. So, uh, it feels weird. I, I like to feel the keepers and stuff on the other side. But uh, as you can see, Seiko up there. And so this is how it comes, guys. This is how it comes. It's meant to be like that, and there's a reason for it. The reason is, like I've mentioned in the previous videos about cocktail times, is that when you have... Oh, look at that. This thing is just, just cutting circulation. Look at that. This thing, uh, when you're holding a drink to do a toast, assuming you're at like the head of a table or at, like a, a front table or whatever, when you hold your drink up in the air, nobody's going to see this part. They're only going to see the beauty of this side. So that's the reason. That's all. <laughs> I think it's actually pretty clever. Uh, but I am going to be putting it on different different straps. I actually want to keep this one good. So as soon as this video is done, I'm going to put it on something I already have just to just to keep it good. Uh, final thoughts? Gosh. Man, uh, for a long time I thought to myself that... Please give me a Tail time watch. I coveted my friends' ones, like I mentioned before, and uh, it's just uh, I am just really, really, really stoked to have finally gotten myself a beautiful cocktail time watch. I feel like I've accomplished a mission. I feel I, I honestly feel like a kid again. This watch, as classy as it is, you know, it, uh, especially because it represents cocktails, which is you know an adult thing. It makes me feel like a kid again. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's a, it's a shiny thing. Uh, I love shiny things, and this is just one of the very shiniest things. The dial is just fantastic. I love it. It's beautiful, and yeah, the price is a little bit more than I I like to have spent, but um, um, you know, uh, 
I am not complaining. Uh, sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet to enjoy life. You know, we go to the movies. Uh, you take out a loan to go to the movies. <laughs> you know, and maybe you'll enjoy yourselves. You know, sometimes you just gotta sp uh, spend the money to have a good time. And I, I think I've made a good choice with this watch. And uh, I hope you, I hope you get one. If you do. I hope you really love it just as much as I do. Anyway, that's my review and thanks for watching. You got a new watch? Yep, this is the Seiko Cocktail Time Sorry 085. Are you sorry? Why are you sorry? No, 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 no. It's the, it's the reference number is S A R Y 085. Oh, uh, yes, it's beautiful. You know what? Normally I don't like the, anything that you do or say, or I just don't like you at all as a person, as a, as a being, as anything, but that is. That is really, really, really beautiful, man. That is, it just makes me want to squeak. Just one squeak? No, two squeaks. Oh, a squeak, squeak. You know, I would, I would love to just kind of have a, a, a moment of time with it. Would you just let me, could you just leave it on the floor and then, and then just kind of go do whatever the, the crap that is that you do? Just go, just, just go to the store or whatever. I'll, I'll take, re I'll take really good care of it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Really? No.